everyone and welcome to my latest video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a countdown timer to one of your videos. So this can be used as a countdown to perhaps a live stream, or it could be added as a feature inside of a video that maybe you're adding to your Instagram Reels or your YouTube Shorts or even your TikTok videos. So I'm using the tool wave.video to show you how to do this. My name's Anita Wong. I'm a social selling expert and I help you to generate leads using social media. So I'm gonna share my screen with you and we're gonna dive straight into wave.video to show you exactly how to do this. So a countdown timer is a added feature on your video. So for the purpose of this, training, I'm going to use a template inside of wave.video, but you can use any of your videos. The uh, process is exactly the same. So I'm just going to grab a video that I might want to put into my Instagram account. So I'm going to go for this one, which is a 22 second video. So I'm just going to grab that. You can, like I said before, use any video you wish. So I'm going to grab the IGTV shape, which is applicable for Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Facebook stories or Instagram stories. This will fit, that that particular size will fit all of those social platforms. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to put a countdown timer on. So first thing is first, if you haven't got a wave.video account and you want to try this out, I've dropped the link below this video. Now, jumping forward, here on the left-hand side, we have what's known as an enhancer. So you need to click this in order to access the countdown option. So up here, there is this countdowns option. So go ahead and grab this. And then what we want to do is we want to actually set the countdown on. And then we choose where, whether we start it at the beginning of the video or halfway through, it's up to you. And then the length of the video, we need to, to actually choose. Now, it will only give you the maximum length of your current video. So as you can see down here, it's 22 seconds. Up here, it's also 22 seconds. Over here, it's actually added in this countdown timer for you. So if I bring it up here, you can see it there in the sky. Now there are a few things that you can do with this countdown timer to make it pop on your video. First thing is to actually choose the text. So here we've got this drop down option. We can choose any text we wish. So let's just jump this up to maybe a slightly more funky text. Let's go for the more comic style. And then if you want it to actually pop off your screen, we can add a background. So click background, let's add a red to the background so you can see what we're doing. You can also increase the size of your timer by clicking here and adding a bigger number here. So this will automatically increase the size of your timer. If you want to change the text color, click the text option, choose any of the colors here or use the color wheel here and just scroll through, grab the color that you want and you're done. Another option in here is the shadow. If you click the shadow option, it will add a shadow. So you can have a soft shadow, a hard shadow or a glow shadow. So let's choose the hard one so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Here you can see the distance from the main numbers to behind. The blur enables it to almost like give it this sort of like blurry shadowed effect or you can have it more crisp. And you can also change the angle of this depending on how you want it to sit. So say like if I wanted it there. You can, of course, change the uh, whether the shadow is more see through or not by just scrolling this up and down. And you, of course, can change the color of the shadow by clicking the color button and going through the color wheel like we've just done. OK, there's another option here called animation. If you click that, it will show you that there's different ways of your actual numbers showing. I'm just going to turn the volume down on the music that's associated with this video so that you can hear me whilst we look at this this um, graphic. So we're going to click play. And as you can see, it slides up. So if we go back to the different options. That's the slider. We can also have a fade. So let's click for the fade and it will just fade in and fade out. We can also have zoom. So if I click play again, we can have it zoom in and zoom out. So you can decide which style you wish. That's quite nice as well. Also in here, you have your time format. So I've got it with minutes and seconds. You can have it written as minutes and seconds. 
If it's just seconds, you can actually just have it as seconds or you can just have a countdown like so. But I actually think it looks nicer like the digital clock. That's pretty much all you need to do to set your timer. Of course, if you add more length to your video, you will need to make sure that you've adjusted your duration. It will automatically add the time, but your duration will not automatically change. So you will need to go in here and change that. OK, now add an added, added bonus for staying this long in the video. As you can see up here, there is this progress bar as well and this waveform. I'm going to just go through the progress bar with you because it's also another form of timer. So if I click the progress bar, all you need to do is switch it on. And then it has all these different options. If I start at the bottom, it has a circle. So as you can see, the circle counts down. You can also have it left. You can have it right, top, bottom, middle, through the middle. But the one I prefer is the parameter. So if I just make this a bit wider so you can see what I'm talking about, as you can see, when it's the perimeter, it goes around the outside. Now, if I change the color to match my digits, I will show you what I mean. Let me just go down to the yellow. So as you can see, I've now got this parameter going around the outside. So if I press start on my video, you can see that I've got my countdown here. I've also got this progress bar winding its way around the outside of my video, which is a really cool feature and it really will make your video pop, especially if you put this on to say like an Instagram reel or a YouTube short. Perfect. OK, so I told you it was a super quick video on how to add that timer to your video. If you've liked this video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. If you've not already subscribed or followed me, please do feel free to do that. I will be sh sharing more videos on wave.video, also more videos around using the digital tools at your fingertips so that you can start selling on social with ease. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.